Hey then, welcome to After Work. My name is Valentine and in this video we're going to be talking about career transition into data science for beginners. In the past we have done a video on transitioning into data science, covering a bit of some more general um, things to consider when it comes to basically transitioning into data science. However, in this video we're going to be covering some of those particular things that you need to consider when you're starting out in data science especially if you are a beginner you don't have any sort of programming background or any sort of you've never worked with data per se and you're not sure where to begin so this video has been um, created to just help you out figure out your way around transitioning into data science so let's get started so the first thing that you would be required to um, take when it comes to transitioning into data science basically would be to do some sort of skills audit on yourself as well as the market or even to an extent the company that you're hoping um, to eventually um, join as a data scientist so this means just stepping back and looking at um, what exactly do you have in terms of skills? Um, are you a medic? Are you a um, financial analyst? Are you a, an administrator? Writing all those skills down and later onwards doing a bit of some research on um, what other data scientists within the market that you're looking towards um, going into have. So looking maybe at um, what if you are looking towards going into the medical um, domain, um, looking at what skills do those data scientists who work in those particular, um, in that particular domain have. And that will help you to identify the skills that you need to learn um, and, and equip yourself at a later time when you are about to begin your um, learning process. So the first thing that you need to do is to perform a skills audit on yourself, on the market, as well as on the organization that you're looking towards. Um, for the organization bit, it's because normally um, data science roles that might seem similar um, within organizations might actually be different. If you have um, the data scientist role in one organization, company A, and um, another data science position in company B, then those data science positions might require different skills depending on the kinds of projects that um, those organizations take or um, actually work, um, work on. So, um, yeah, so the first thing that you need to do is to do that skills audit. The second thing is to equip yourself with prerequisite skills, which are general across, they usually cut across um, all data science roles. And these are pertaining to mathematics, statistics, probability, as well as just general programming skills. So ensuring that you have the necessary skills that will enable you to be able to undertake some sort of learning experience um, pertaining to data science later onwards. This is because um, when you're learning data scientist, whether you want to with data science, whether you want to become a data scientist um, or a data analyst or data, um, to an extent, a data engineer or machine learning engineer, these are prerequisite skills that you will require to equip yourself with. And there are quite a number of um, different courses online that you can get. Um, so doing a bit of some research on identifying those particular um, 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 a, a, you know providers that are able to help you equip these are able to help you achieve these particular skills will be important so the first thing you did an um, audit the second skills audit the second thing you you know equipped yourself with um, prerequisite skills um, by the way the prerequisite skills will also be handy in um, at a later time which is the next stage which um, we're going to talk about next so once you have equipped yourself with the prerequisite skills, the next thing that you need to do is to now undertake the learning process, the process of equipping yourself with the relevant skills that you have identified um, during your skills audit. Um, the skills that you will have identified in the skills audit are the ones that are going to help you um, um, identify which um, product in terms of a course works well for you. There are many courses available online, whether paid or 
not and all these different courses might cover an aspect of what they believe um, a data scientist would need to have within this particular within just a general market or even within a specific market your job during this process is to identify the cost that aligns to the skews that you had identified there are courses which um, you might realize are being offered say somewhere like in the US and if you do take those SKUs, um, those particular courses, you might end up having SKUs which are aligned towards jobs within that market. If you live in an emerging economy like me um, in Kenya and you take a course that's aligned towards um, this market, then it means the roles that you're like much more likely to get or to acquire or to, to apply for will eventually be roles that are within this market. So you need to ensure that you select a provider, a data education provider that fits in well with the SKUs that you had identified earlier on during your SKUs audit. Um, if you, you can also at the same time um, uh, also identify those SKUs that are not covered and also supplement those SKUs um, with other different courses. So as you're taking a sort of structured learning approach from one particular um, core provider, then you would also be at the same time taking other supplementary courses that would allow you to just um, be that data scientist that you desire to be. Now the fourth um, thing and fourth and the fifth and final thing that you need to take into consideration is now the job application process. So this part usually requires you to do so many things and once you have finished or you're still towards um, you're still continuing your learning um, journey in the previous phase, um, you might want to decide now to you know, create or build your network. So talk to data scientists, um, whether it's basically on social media or it's just commenting on some of the posts um, that you will have identified if you're now following them on social media. Could also be that you might want to also um, ensure that you have a good, uh, um, uh, a well-created um, portfolio that aligns the kinds of projects that you've worked on in the past. You might also want to possibly even join collaborative projects, projects that would show that you have the necessary data science um, skills that are required for the role that you want to join. So um, during this last step, well, that's the job application step, you need to ensure that you have built on your network um, you have talked to people who potentially could um, end up um, posting opportunities or you know sending you opportunities that you could um, finally apply for um, as part of your, of your um, entry into the market. You could also identify collaborative projects, projects that other persons are looking towards starting or so organizations um, or even hackathons. Um, that would help you to build this particular portfolio that you can always showcase in your job application. And you know, you just apply for jobs. If if you you feel like um, you are not a hundred percent, it's okay when you're applying for jobs. If you feel like you haven't satisfied the requirements at hundred percent, it's okay. Even if it's eighty or seventy or sixty, it's still fine. Um, and majorly because um, you could undertake that process of still applying for jobs is more of a learning process. So if you apply for a particular role that oh yes, it does align to what you expected to, to have, um, you will go through you know, the different stages so when it comes to hiring. And those stages will teach you something about what to expect in, um, in interviews. And you can always prepare um, for future interviews. And you never know, maybe one day, one time, um, that particular data science role that you had really, really, really um, um, identified um, during your, 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 your first phase of conducting um, an audit of your skills um, will show up. A, skills, a, a role that's really aligned to what you have learned will you know, be available. And when you apply, you might realize that um, it's actually an easy journey for you. All right, so yeah, so those are just four different, th four different things that you need to consider when it comes to um, transitioning into data science for beginners majorly. So the first one was skills audit, perform a skills audit. Second one is to um, 
ensure that you have acquired the necessary prerequisites because some of even the programs that you're going to be applying for um, in the learning phase which is the third phase might require you to have those particular prerequisites and the fourth bit is a few things to consider pertaining to your job application which might be um, building your network and um, creating your portfolio joining collaborative projects and even just applying for jobs as part of your learning process all right so that's it hopefully you liked this video if you did like this video give this video a thumbs up so that other persons who might be interested um, um, can be recommended by youtube and if you would want to be informed when we post such future videos be sure to subscribe and see you in the next video